Hello and welcome to another video on my channel and today I'm going to be taking you through some of the things you can do with Pygame.Display and how to do them and then in part two of the video I'm going to be showing you some of the ways you can interface with your program for example using the keyboard. Okay so let's get started. What you're going to want to do first is open up either a Python 2 or a Python 3, it doesn't matter and then when it loads just want to create a new file. So once your editor is opened, you're firstly going to need to import the modules. And the ones we're going to need are pygame and pygame.display. Like that. Then you're going to need to type pygame dot and pygame.display dot in it to basically tell the program that you're using these modules then you're going to need to assign a variable so bearing in mind this is the name of your window if you like so I'm calling it screen to pygame dot display dot set underscore mode and then your size 640 by 480 is the standard but you can use anything so once you've done that I'm just going to save the file and then run it so when the program is executed you should get something that looks something like this now this is really not what we want it says Pi Game window at the top and it's just a black screen. So let's get on with some different things you can do to change this. Once you've returned to your code, the first thing we're going to change is the caption at the top of the screen. Now, the way to do this is very simple. All you need to do is type Pi Game dot display. Oops. Dot set underscore caption and then whatever you want to write. I'm just writing Pi Game Tutorial. Then close quotes and close parentheses. That's all you need to do to change the caption. Now the next thing I'm going to show you how to change is the colour of the screen. Now you can do this as often as you like by simply typing screen.fill and then two open brackets and then the colour I'm doing it white, so that's going to be 255, 255, 255, and then close them off again. Once we've done that, the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to draw shapes onto the screen. And the first shape I'm going to show you is a rectangle. So to draw a rectangle, you type pygame.draw.rect, and then open brackets. So the first parameter we need is the surface. So mine is screen, so it'll be whatever you wrote for this variable here. The next one is the colour, so I'm going to make a green one, so that's going to be 255 or 0, 255, 0, and then close bracket. So the next parameter is the location and size, so the first one in this bracket is the x, I'm going to put mine in the corner, so it's going to be 1. Next is y, which is also going to be 1. And now the size. I'm going to make mine a square and it's going to be 40 by 40 on all the sides. The last parameter we need to give it is the line width. Now I believe it can be anything between 0 and some quite big number. But if you put 0 it will fill in the shape and if you put any other number it will just make the line that thick. I'm going to make mine 0 just so you can see. Okay, so that's that for drawing a rectangle, but it won't just draw it on the screen and neither will it fill in the screen if unless you put this very important line. That line is pygame.display.update. So that's what actually changes the display. If you don't have that, none of your changes will be implemented. Once we've done that, we're just going to run the program. And when it runs, 
you should see a window like this appear with a little green square in the corner, which is exactly what you expected. So I've just written out all the different shapes you can have. There is a few more, but these are the common ones. And I'm just going to explain what they each do and what parameters they need. So the first one is pygame.draw.line. The parameters this needs is the surface and then a color. And then you need the start position, so the start coordinate, and the end coordinates, both of which need to be in parentheses with commas in between them. And then the last one is the line width. Moving on, we have pygame.draw.circle, and the parameters this needs is the surface, the color, and the central point of the circle, so this is where the centre of the circle will be. Obviously you need an X and a Y. And then the radius of the circle. And then the line width, that can be zero, which is worth noting. And that obviously draws a circle. The next one is pygame.draw.polygon. And what that basically does is draws a list of points at whatever you want them to be. So it can be really any shape you want. So what it needs is surface and then the color and then we have a list here so we start with a square bracket and then we have open parentheses and we put the first coord set of coordinates so we have the x and y and then comma second set comma third set and then close square brackets you can have as many or as few coordinates as pos as you like but there must be more than two. And the final one is the line width. Again, it can be zero, which will fill it in. So now I'm just going to run this program to show you what all those shapes will look like once they're drawn on. So when it executes, you'll get the window like we had before. And there you can see we have the green square, a green line, a green circle, which hasn't been filled in, and then we, I've made a blue triangle out of the pygame.draw.polygon command and that is filled in. So the second thing I'm going to show you how to do is put text on the screen. Now the way to do this is first of all we need to define the font that we're going to be using. So by doing that you type font equals font. And then open brackets and now put your font name so I'm using Deja Vu Sans but there's plenty more out there and then the size of the font which is gonna I'm doing 72 so it can be quite big and then the next thing is text equals font dot render and then open brackets your text that you want to write onto the screen and then the word true and then the color I'm going to make it red and then close that and the final thing you need to do is blit the image to the screen and the way we do that is by typing your surface name, mine screen dot blit, open brackets what you want to blit, which is text, and then comma, and then another open bracket, type the location, I'm doing it at 21 200, and then close brackets, and then we'll save that. So now I'm just going to run the program, and when it runs, you should get a window similar to you had before with the text hello world written across the middle of it okay so the third and final thing I'm going to show you how to do is to put an image on the screen now it's fairly similar to doing text but obviously with an image so like text you have to make a variable called image and then call make it the image so to get an image in pygame dot image dot load open brackets and then type the path of your image 
mine slash home slash pie slash pictures slash logo dot png then close quotations and close parentheses presenter next thing you're going to do is just pipe screen dot blit or whatever surface it is and then image and then the location you want to put it on so i'm going to do 21400 close that now that would work however if like me your image is really big and you want to scale it down a bit pygame offers another function called pygame.transform so the way we're going to use that is create another variable called s image for scaled image image and make that equal to pygame dot transform dot scale and open brackets the image which is image and then the new size which is going to be 190 and then 97 now what I did to get that was just simply divide the old dimensions by 4 and then we just need to change this to S image for it to blit the new scale. Then we're just going to run the file and when it executes again the window will pop up and voila there is your image blitted to your location. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give us a like and if you have any comments please leave a comment and join us for part two.